Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for uh, the May 23rd forecast for the forecast, May forecast challenge. Uh, we're doing this each night, um, one, to have some fun, and also, two, most importantly, to raise some money for the neighbor's pantry, where I volunteered for a bunch of years, and uh, trying to basically give them a chance to raise a little extra money as we've done extra food distributions with everything going on with COVID. So you can do that. Um, at the end, I'll show a slide that shows how you can help out with that. Um, what's been going on today? Uh, it's been beautiful out yet again. Today was just an amazing weather day. We had a high of 86. We've gone over this almost every day. It's been sunny in May this month, but that's a little higher than an actual air temperature. My thermometer reads a little higher than it actually is. Um, last night, I had a low of 51. We had clouds move in overnight, so that was the warmest low temperature we've actually had, tied for the lowest warm temperature we've had all month. Um, tonight, uh, won't be any clouds, uh, and uh, the temperatures aloft have actually cooled a little bit again uh, as we've kind of had a bit of a backdoor cold front move through. You didn't notice it. It, it just kind of ate away at the clouds. But um, it will mean that we're chilly-ish again, uh, probably upper 30s again tonight um, for a lot of locations. So I don't think you have any problem with any frost or anything like that tonight, but uh, certainly it will feel chilly um, if you're up early tomorrow morning. Um, in terms of rain, we still haven't seen any rain. I did actually get a few sprinkles at my house, but nowhere near enough to um, add up to any kind of actual amount of precipitation. The other fun thing we've been doing this week is a uh, photo contest each day um, with a weather picture of the day yesterday from Vega. Um, she sent in this picture, uh, which is a great picture of uh, her kids were actually in the water in some of the pictures um, that I saw that she posted yesterday. So uh, and this was where they were jumping in the water. Hard to believe two weeks ago we got snow. Um, and today I was walking around in the river with my kiddos. So uh, that's how weather changes during May in Vermont. Um, sometimes during April we change that way too, but uh, really uh, pretty pretty remarkable. Um, let's look at the satellite picture, which kind of shows the, the story for the day. You can see clouds here in Vermont. They really never got much further north than about here. And then through the day, um, even though the storm has continued is slowly, this is what's left of that big cutoff low pressure system. You can see the storm has definitely mostly fallen apart. And you can see that from the north, we're getting dry air pushed into the northern part of it. So even though the storm is still sort of tracking more kind of west to east, the clouds have been um, shifting to the south. Um, there was precipitation today as far north as uh, Massachusetts, actually, western Massachusetts, not really that far away from here. Um, but that has been slowly pushing as well. We're in the, uh, almost off the coast of Connecticut, Rhode Island right now. And um, that'll be the end of that precipitation for a while. It was our, our best chance for precip until we get a chance at some thunderstorms. Probably the earliest they would happen would most likely be realistically maybe Tuesday, more likely like Wednesday and probably definitely Friday. So um, just to give you, um, oh, this is not today's radar. I don't know how that got in there. Sorry about that. Let me show you. And this is also, no, my goodness, what was I doing? Um, this is not today's temperatures either. So with that in mind, let's look at the week ahead since uh, my graphics are all messed up. Sorry about that. Um, what's going on? Uh, we're looking for more beautiful weather. Today, uh, or tomorrow, I'm sorry, uh, highs, middle 70s probably, mostly sun. Beautiful, beautiful day. Really great day to be outside. Monday, we could have a few clouds. There's a bit of a, it looks mostly the leftover part of some uh, convection that'll happen over the Great Lakes that'll head in our direction. Um, there's a chance for some more clouds. We're still going to be mostly sunny though, probably. Highs a little bit warmer on Monday, back up into the upper 70s. Um, there's a very slight chance of a sprinkle out of some of those clouds. There'll probably be more of them in the morning than the afternoon. I wouldn't really expect it. Tuesday, we're mostly sunny, and um, there's basically going to be a wave each day of, confe of, of convection, which means like thunderstorms, showers and thunderstorms, that develops. And each day, it slowly starts to get a little closer to us. Tuesday, there's a small chance one of those could um, run out way ahead of where the actual uh, boundary is, where the weather boundary is, and could give us a shower or a thunderstorm in the afternoon. Uh, I think that's a pretty small chance on Tuesday. We're into the low 80s on Tuesday. Humidity will be rising. Um, so if you are outside in the afternoon, just keep half an eye towards the western sky to make sure that there's no thunderstorms rolling through. I think it's a pretty small chance. By Wednesday, the chance gets a little bit more again. Um, and Wednesday will be the hottest day. It's full-on summer. Upper 80s, we could touch 90 in a bunch of spots on Wednesday. It's going to be... Uh, a day to get out and uh, um, maybe get uh, find a place to swim if you can find a spot where you can do that safely. Um, it would be a good idea. And definitely there's a chance, a better chance of some thunderstorms. I think Tuesday and Wednesday, if we see any thunderstorms though, they will mostly be your garden variety, run of the mill thunderstorms. Not really. They could drop some heavier rain. There could be a few claps of thunder, but there shouldn't be much in the way of severe weather, I don't think, either Tuesday or Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, there's definitely a chance of some of that severe weather. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. We're looking at uh, both of those days a little cooler because there will be more clouds in the afternoon, but we're still looking highs in the middle 80s Thursday, low 80s probably on Friday. Um, and thunderstorms, particularly Thursday night, it looks like into Friday morning maybe. Um, 
the front sort of sags or the, the boundary there. It's not really a front, but the boundary heads in our direction and gives us a chance at some stronger thunderstorms. Like I said, we'll have to keep an eye on that. By Saturday, we've kind of moved that boundary off to our east and we're back into some actually some slightly cooler, but a really beautiful air uh, next Saturday um, with clouds giving way to sun, temps probably in the low 70s. So overall, really, really nice forecast. Um, even those days with thunderstorms, I don't think you'll see total washouts. The only day that maybe has um, a, a chance for multiple rounds of that would maybe be Friday. But um, uh, basically the weather looks very good over the next week. Um, and if anything, almost summer-like, and I hope you have a chance to get out there and enjoy that uh, in the midst of being kind of stuck, uh, not being able to, uh, having a social distance. So um, thanks for joining me. Um, as I said at the beginning here, we do have, we're doing this this month to help raise money for the Neighbor's Pantry. Um, you can help me do that by becoming a patron of mine. Um, and if you become a patron, any money I'm taking in from my patrons this month will go to uh, the Neighbor's Pantry. And then if you continue to support me after that, you can, you don't have to, but I would appreciate that. Um, that'll help me to improve my equipment and improve uh, or increase the number of forecasts I'm able to do. And I have some more information that's coming this week on, on what being a patron will mean going forward. So thanks everybody for joining me and we will see you again tomorrow night.